Hey guys, back again. Uh, today we're working on a Wilton bench vise. Uh, right now, the base and the swivel up here are locked up pretty tight, so I am gonna have to break those loose. Uh, the jaw does still function, it's just real tight and real squeaky. So we gotta get that fixed up. Uh, jaws are still in really good condition. Uh, they still actually have a pretty good grip to them. They're not loose or anything. I might take them off just to give them a quick cleaning and then reassemble. I might just leave them on there just because they are in really good condition. Um, the anvil face up here is also pretty nice. None of the edges have been blown out. Uh, it does have a little bit of marking on it, like it's been used as a cutting table for chisel work or those kind of things, a couple of round punch spots. If it doesn't go too deep, I might try and just clean that up and get a nice smooth finish on that. If it does, I'll just use it as a cutting table. Uh, but first things first, let's get some WD-40 in this guy, get everything starting to loosen up so we can tear it apart.
this video. If you guys like what you are seeing, go ahead and subscribe, uh, hit the bell icon so you don't miss out. I do post regularly on forging blades out as well. Uh, I do these kind of side projects and other side forging projects just for my own entertainment as well as I sell those on Etsy alongside the blades. Um, I'm going to be putting some stuff up soon that's not blades. Right now everything I have up there is railroad spike knives and swords. Uh, Hooker's Blades on Etsy, Hooker's Blades on Facebook. Go ahead and follow me on those. Uh, follow me on uh, TikTok if you want to. I put random stuff up there sometimes, but just lets you get to know my personality a little bit better. Um, God bless. Love you guys. Stay safe out there. I'll see you in the next one.